Welcome back to Crazy Bill's Garage, and today we have Use Filter Friday again. And I think this is my first Use Filter Friday of 2025. So, here we are with the Motormaster, Ford Motormaster FL500S, a Fram Tough Guard TG3614, and a Toyota uh, 90915. Dash one zero 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 nine says it's made by Denso. So there you go. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't really know. All right. Uh, don't know the information on these. These are just random oil filters I picked out of the bin because, uh, you know, I was going for tall, medium, small. There we go. Ha. Uh, yeah, but I do not know what these come from, so. We're just going to take a good look at them and see how well they did. I always like to see inside of a the Motorcraft and the Fram. This Toyota one, it could be pretty interesting. Can't wait to get that one open. But I think we're going to open them from the largest to the smallest. So we're going to go with the Ford Motorcraft 5, F500S. And we're going to see what surprises it may bring to us. If I can get this thing down here. And there we go. Alright, I did drain these, but, you know, with my draining skills, I don't know if I drained them as well as I could have. So, it might be a little messy. I got a rag though, so it don't matter. I got a rag. I'm also suffering through a cold right now, so my voice may sound a little funny. I actually think my voice sounds a little funny anyways. But hey, as they say, I got a voice for radio, not for TV. Ha ha. Okay, there we go. Through it pretty well. And there we go. Now let us take a look at the good old Ford FL500S. Uh -huh. So it's got that golden look for oil. So it looks like it used synthetic silicone anti drain back, which looks Fabulous, I must say. Oh, uh, yes, it does have this incorporation of a uh, bypass valve. Oh, this thing's... It's like she's still got some oil in her, but yeah, oh well. And there's the bottom of it. Not too bad. It looks like very well looked after. Where's my rag? Very well looked after, I gotta say. Um... Nothing too terrible about this. Take a look here. Oh, yeah. Well, it looks pretty good, in fact. It does. I wish I had to drain these longer, but, you know, I, uh, I don't think I had as much time to find these. Well, I found them, but then I forgot to drain them over the weekend. So... I, uh, you know, things happen. Things always happen. And there we go. Okay. Well, that came off nice and easy. Uh, I don't know how swelled up. This is, but it looks like it was in there a while. So, probably just swelled up a little. I'm going to take a uh, caliper reading of the filtration to see how thick it is right now because of it's all it's all swollen up. So, I want to get a reading of it. Oh, I uh, I didn't do that. Maybe when I was cutting it it came apart. I I don't think so though. So, 
So we're at 0.81 for reading. And how does this look? You know, I turn the light on in here. I don't know if that helps any. But, uh, yeah, she was in there a while. It's got, the, got a bunch of uh, carbon crud down in there. So, she was in there for a while. It's got a bunch of metal fleck in here. So, this was in the vehicle, I believe, a lot longer than it should have been. But... Looks like it did a very good job, though. I gotta admit, that does look pretty good. So, I'm very impressed by that. Now, let's get on to this fram here. Let's see what type of job it did. Bumping the camera. canisters aren't that thick unless you get some of their racing stuff then they're pretty thick these normal ones aren't thick at all okay let's see what we got here uh it's probably got synthetic in it and it's not too dirty it's not terrible but there's a lot of crud on there but that could be because something was falling through the holes. I'm not sure. So we're going to leave that and see how it actually looks inside. So there we are. It's not terrible. I'm thinking it was synthetic oil. I don't have my light with me. Darn. I really got to bring that light back. But, or get a new light. But, uh, wow. Well, well, it does come off, off. And there is a lot of crap on there, too. That could have fallen through the hole, too, because there was a little bit of crap on top. Um, doesn't look too bad, really. Uh, this is still pliable. It's not cracking or anything. It's still pliable, but... Here we go with this type of filtration, though, where it's sucking. It's just sucking, trying to pull oil through, and that's what happens. Sucking away there, trying to get oil through, and it can't get it through, and it uh, deforms. Deforms it a bit. I don't see any rippage there at all. Like... No, there's no rippage. I'm looking pretty close. I got new glasses, so I can see pretty good now. So, better. Take a look at her. And you know, as many of these I take apart of Fram, they always seem to stay together. It's just, that's the way it is. Alright. Let's get this cut right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to measure how thick. Zero this filtration is 0.72 so uh, this is the outside yeah and not too bad actually I see only minor pieces of metal in there but uh, not too bad a little bit of dirtiness starting in the creases but it's honestly 
This thing does look very good. How gritty does it feel? Not bad. This filter did, it looks like, a pretty good job itself. Hmm. Impressed again with you, Fram. Stop that. Start giving me something that I can be like, ooh, see? But so far, it hasn't happened too much. And let's get down to this little Denso here. Toyota oil filter, Denso. Um, I don't know what these go on. So, um, it'd be nice if I did know. Like, I have some people who tell me. But, uh, these ones are just random. Denzo might be a little thicker. You know. Yeah, I think the Denzo is a bit thicker. It took a little longer to get through. So, let's say she's a bit thicker than the rest. Well, let's take a look at this. Ooh, gotta like these Denzos. Well, that definitely got synthetic oil in it. She's not too dirty. Silicone, actually all of these. Silicone anti-drain back valves. This, there's that tube. Get the filtration out. This one's very clean. I would pick a very clean one. Uh, not much to say on here. It's pretty clean. Canister's nice and thick. Um, I like this style. Filtration is always nice on these. And it's just held by this, uh, what do you call this? Sealant glue. It's just held by that. It looks very good. It doesn't look like it was used very much. And I don't know what it was used on. So if anybody can uh, check that number, we can uh, get you to say what you think it was in, but it's very well built. I see how crinkled together the inside here of the, of the pleats are, and it's not terrible, it's good. Oil is going to flow through it very well. It's like, that is just a well-built filter. So, Denso filters made in Japan, by the way. The, this one is, it, it says here, made in Japan here somewhere. Uh, yes. Well, made in Japan. I think I cut over the spot where it said that, so it's gone now. So, great filter, and uh, yeah, all of these filters did the job, they look pretty good, um, I'm quite impressed by actually the Fram Tough Guard, it, uh, it did some longer duty, well there you go, we got her all done for another week. And, well, thanks for watching.